Let's get started. Mikey and I have a very interesting battle today. Oh. As you can see, me and my family are giants, and Mikey and his family are tiny. Wow, you are so huge. Even JJ's kids are bigger than me. But I think it won't stop us from winning this battle. But how do we choose where and whose chunk will be? Well, I think you know, there's a roulette wheel right there. Yep. So, this way we can choose where we will survive. Oh. But I would like a chunk where there is a chest and no dead plants. Hey, no, I would like to survive huh? there. Do you understand me? But okay, let's see what happens to me and on what chunk I will survive with my family. I hope that I will be more lucky because I deserve more. <laughs> Mikey, just don't get upset if you're unlucky because you've already lost anyway. Oh. Hey, is my chunk going to be right? No, not that. I don't deserve this. <laughs> what else is it? Why am I constantly unlucky? What did I do wrong? I just wanted to win this battle. JJ, I'm sure it's your fault. You set it up and don't even make excuses. Do you understand me? Um, you seem to have gone crazy. Huh? Or is it because your brain has become smaller? Let's better you don't scream hmm. and still do something useful. Or will you scream all the time? Maybe you won't mock me and you'd better tell me what's in your trunk. I'm very interested in this because I didn't have anything like that here and it's your fault. So come on, you just give up and give me your chunk because the little ones need to give in. Let's build a house. And here, my giant house is completed. It was so long that I didn't even notice how much time had passed, but everything in this house is gigantic. <gasps> Workbenches, stoves, stairs, and even a bed. So. This is the best giant house you've ever seen. I've already finished my house too, so I'll let you come and see it. What? Just don't touch anything with your hands, especially with your huge hands. Hmm. We have the coolest tiny house. You've never seen such before, and you'll never see it. Do you understand me? Mikey, can you really call this a house? Yep. Your house is even lower than me. How are you going to live here? Huh? And your workbench with a stove is also tiny. It's just unbearable to use. Let's not be outraged because we're going to live here, not you. So let's get this over with. Or do you think that I will pay attention to your words? Go and live in your giant house and don't envy what? me. And I hope that you still understand me. But why you made cows like this is a mystery to me because it would be more profitable to grow big cows oh. because there will be more meat and milk. I don't understand how you don't realize this, but I approve of a small pond, although it looks more like a puddle. This pond is small, but there are enough fish here. Do you understand me? At least I will have food unlike you. So let's not do nonsense and get smart. Or will you endlessly build your house? Okay, you're kind of angry. I'd better get out of here before you get really mad. Do whatever you want next, fish or raise cows, and I'll find something to do without you. And I have a lot of ideas and plans for today. I will do everything necessary to win on my giant chunk. Well, you can do whatever you want, but it seems like you've already lost. Do you understand me? And I don't understand why you keep doing this. You know that you can't win me and my family. You just don't have a chance because all you have is a house and I have food and milk. I will build a farm and then I will have no equal at all. I'm so tired of you. I can't listen to this anymore. My ears can't stand it. So I came up with the idea that I'm going to go to the cave now and get resources. And I'll be back with a full inventory of diamonds, iron and emeralds. And he will envy me. I'm so tired. But it's not for nothing that I decided to go to the cave. Now I have a lot of diamonds. But what is Mikey doing there? It's nighttime. Just look at the fish I caught. Do you see that? So, you doubted me in vain, and I proved that I am the coolest angler. And as before, you spent the whole day in the cave and didn't find anything, right? You're completely wrong here. I found a lot of diamonds. You've never seen so many, and I don't care about your fish, so you could not show it to me. Or did you catch this fish on my chunk? It doesn't matter. Okay, I have to go, so I wish you good luck, okay? And anyway, it's time to go to bed. If you haven't noticed, it's already night. Okay? Okay, he's kind of weird. I don't even know why he came here. Some fish was shown. Did he spend the whole night trying to catch one fish? Although, this fish is enough for him for a year, so he has provided himself with food. But if I need to, then I can just buy this fish from him and quietly eat and feed my family. 
But now I have more important things to do, and I hope that no one will distract me, because I just want to do whatever I wanted to do. And for that, I have to get the tree that I have growing here on my chunk. But the fish that Mikey showed me does not give me peace of mind. He behaves strangely somehow, and I do not know what he is up to and what to expect from him. But now, at least I have to make something out of the diamonds that I mined. And I will make a sword, because it's night, and I do not know what can expect me. Suddenly, monsters will appear here, and I will be ready for this, and I will not have any problems. So I am confident in my abilities and will do everything that is necessary for me and my family. So, guys, listen to me. You don't have to leave me anywhere. We don't know what's hiding on these chunks, and we don't understand what might be going on here either. So we have to be ready for anything, okay? But I'll probably go back to the cave. And for that, I need a pickaxe. And now I'm going to make a pickaxe for myself. And then I will get several times more diamonds. Um, what else is this? Mikey, where did you take my diamond? This is my diamond what? now. You have so many of them already, and I only took one. You wouldn't even notice if you didn't see me. Where did you run to? Give me back my diamond. I mined them myself in the cave. Stop bullying me. It doesn't belong to you, so let's not steal anything from me anymore. And stop doing this already. Give me my diamond here before I destroy you. Or do you want to get acquainted with my huge diamond sword? Okay, just don't hit me. I don't want to die, okay? Take your diamonds and don't touch me anymore because I don't want to die. Do you understand me? I don't deserve this. I just wish I had diamonds too because I don't have such a cave like yours. I don't even want to hear anything. The thief can't be my friend. And I came up with something interesting so that Mikey wouldn't steal my diamonds and anything else from me. So now there will be a sign that will not let Mikey through to my chunk. Hey, what did you do there? You're not serious right now, right? Come on, can you take that sign away? Because I noticed something else in your trunk. Here, I told you why I did it. You're just mocking me because I got a bad chunk without diamonds and other resources. Okay, do what you want. I don't care about you, and now I'll think for myself where I can find the diamonds. Get out of here. You're not welcome here anymore. And it's your own fault that this attitude is towards you. So I hope for understanding, and you won't come to my chunk anymore. But I'm tired of this day, and I already want it all to end and start a new day with new strength. So I wish myself peaceful dreams, and don't ask me wh what's going on there. What's Mikey up to again? Um, I don't even know what to say. Mikey, can you answer my question? What are you doing? It's none of your business. I'm just going to have fun here. Do you understand me? And don't pay attention to me. I don't want you to look at me, but I know you're going to be jealous of me. So let's get this over with before I figure out how to get back at you for everything you've done to me. And today, I'm going to have a party on the rails. I made it up myself. What do you say about it? Okay, do whatever you want. I think you're already crazy on your tiny chunk. But most importantly, don't worry about me. I'll find something to do here, and I hope that you won't bother me this time. Otherwise, I'll be very angry, and you definitely won't like it. So I wouldn't advise you to come to my territory anymore. I wasn't going to come to you anymore. I have enough to do without you. You'll want to come to me yourself when you see what I've come up with, because no one has ever done this before, and they won't do it. And I hope that everything will be fine with me, and I won't accidentally fly out of my chunk. I have a little problem with security measures so far, but I think I will solve this problem soon. Mikey, there's nothing for you to do. I don't even know what happened to you last night, but you're definitely crazy. And I'm even afraid to imagine what you'll come up with next, but I'm doing a wheat farm here, so I'll have food too. And you're not so cool now. And knowing you, sooner or later your cows will run away from your chunk, and then you will just cry and ask me to share food with you. You're just jealous of me, and I get it. So why don't you mind my business? Here you are building a farm, so build on. You don't need to boss me around and tell me some nonsense. I'm still not listening to you because you're really crazy and don't understand what you're saying. I can't even imagine how you could even come up with this and tell me about it. So let's get this over with and don't say anything else to me, okay? You don't understand what you're doing. We have a battle and you're riding a trolley. So it seems that you've already lost and you know it yourself. And that's why you've given up and don't want to do anything. So 
I hope that as soon as possible, you will understand this and say what you want, namely that you give up. I understand that this is hard, but you will succeed. The main thing is not to give up because this is your only chance for you, okay? I'm tired of you already, so let's get this over with. And don't be bossy. I'm not going to do what you're asking me to do. Do you understand me? Oh my God, where am I? What is this hole in my chunk? I don't like it anymore. I'm scared and I don't want to stay here, but this pit is from an indestructible block. And how do I get out of here? I don't want to die here. Please help me, someone, or I'll stay here forever. Oh, what is it? You fell into a pit and your height doesn't help you anymore? Well, don't get upset. Maybe sooner or later you'll get out, but you can offer me something for help. Mikey, are you kidding me? Or don't you understand that I need help? I'm asking you as a friend, please help me. I won't get out of here without you. Do you hear me or not? Okay, I'll give you diamonds, so be it. But just save me. There's some kind of lever here. So I hope you still help me and I'll get out of here. Oh, this is already a serious conversation. So I think that now we have agreed with you. Now I'm going to help you. So let me help you and we'll get out of here because now it's in my best interest too. But how did you fall here in the first place? Didn't you notice a huge hole in your chunk? Mikey, let's not talk. Just push this lever. I want to get out of here already. So I hope that at least this is not a trap and lava will not pour over my head now. Do you understand me or not? Well, I did what you asked me to do. So let's not get smart, okay? Let's get out of here and you won't fall into these pits anymore, okay? Or you can fall anyway. For diamonds, I'm ready to save you. I think that this is going to be a new business for me. And anyway, why did you make a farm if you could buy food from me for diamonds? That's a secret to me. Thank you for that. I didn't even expect you to be capable of this. And that's why I think you deserve more than three diamonds. Do you understand me or not? So wait for me here. I'll give you something now. And maybe this way we can solve all our problems. So let me give you the diamonds and you won't steal from me anymore. What do you say to me? Yes, I like it. So let's be friends with you again. But you better put this nonsense away, okay? And now I think that we are definitely on friendly terms and no one can quarrel with us now. But you can also come to my chunk and we can ride my trolleys there. I think you're going to like it. Just be careful because you might accidentally fly somewhere outside of the chunk. Remember that, okay? Mikey, I'm too big to ride these trolleys. Do you understand me? I can't do it. And I hope that you understand this and nothing bad will happen to me or to you. But your cow pen is still in place and I like it. So I think you're right. And you obviously won't have any problems with food. I brought you a giant sized trolley. So everything will be fine. Now we can ride. And anyway, I hope you're having fun because you haven't seen this yet and you're unlikely to see it. So have fun while you can. But, and I hope that you and I will never quarrel anymore. And now I won't steal anything from you, okay? Of course, everything will be fine with us if you don't steal anything anymore, okay? And anyway, I already want it all to end, but there's one point, it's a battle, right? And then what should we do if we make up and don't intend to fight anymore? But, okay, I think we'll figure it out. But first look at my cool giant house. Will you like it or not? Wow, how huge everything is here. It's so strange. The stove is bigger than me. Do you see? So, I do not know. I would not be able to live in this house. I think that I would have complexes. So I think that I would rather live in my house. It's cool, of course, in a special way. But everything is too huge. Do you understand me or not? So, let's get this over with and just do something useful or interesting. Or do you think it's not fun? Wait, you haven't seen the second floor yet. It's even better than here. So let's go there. Just don't get distracted because sooner or later, it may happen that monsters will appear and then we won't be ready for them. Okay? And here I sleep. And as I understand it, you can sleep here with your whole family. But not about that now. My house is so gigantic that no one has ever done this before and this is really cool. Do you understand me? Give me some food. Otherwise, I've been hungry all this time. Hmm, I'm not full of this. 
I'd like to eat something else. So come on, I think you should have a lot of food here. Just please, can you find food for me faster? I can't stand it anymore. My stomach is going to explode soon. I don't understand what came over me, but I can't stand it. And I hope you understand that, okay? Mikey, I gave you a fish. This fish will be huge for you. So just take it and eat it. I don't understand why you're demanding something from me if I've already shared it with you. So take it and eat it. Or do you think it's done so quickly? And anyway, I wouldn't want something terrible to happen to us. And I'd like that. You finally realize the seriousness of this. Now there will be wheat and you can harvest it and make yourself bread and eat it for a whole month. But this is a serious conversation. I like this. So hurry up and do it already and I'll collect all the wheat and I'll have the biggest bread in the world. And everyone will envy me. And it seems you're right. I'll really eat this bread for a month and not knowing what to do next. So let's get this over with as soon as possible because I think we've done everything we wanted to do today. I just ran out of ideas, just like you. Do you understand me or not? Come on, you can already make this bread and finally get behind me. Now you are the lucky owner of the coolest bread in the world. You have broken the record. So now we can definitely finish and we have one conclusion that I won because my chunk is the coolest. I think everyone understands that perfectly.